If you're recording JPEG files in your Fujifilm camera, if it's the RAW plus the JPEG or just the JPEG, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video about how to get more consistent colors from one photo to the next using Fujifilm's auto white balance lock feature. For a long time, I've advocated not using auto white balance as much if you're recording the JPEG file. The reason being is that as good as auto white balance can be sometimes, it's also sometimes really far off. And if you're taking a series of photos, so one photo right after the other, you're changing the composition, but the light source isn't changing, auto white balance can adjust the color balance between each one of those photos, giving you different colors in each photo, even though they were only taken moments apart. And so in order to counter this so that you have consistent colors from one photo to the next, I've always advocated for uh, being familiar with the manual white balance controls or custom white balance. But there's a newer feature that was released in Fujifilm cameras starting in late 2018 called Auto White Balance Lock, where now when you are in Auto White Balance, you can just push a button and it will lock in those white balance corrections, giving you consistent colors from one photo to the next. Let's take a look at this example of what auto white balance can do and how it can alter these colors when the light source isn't changing. This scene, again, these photos were taken just moments apart from one another in the same light. It was outside sunlight being reflected indoors through a door and windows. And you can see how the temperature and tint corrections were all over the place. The first photo, which has a lot of warm colors in it, the camera actually cooled this down quite a bit, trying to neutralize those warm colors, giving me a blue color cast in these photos. And then, you know, all the rest are different just based on the composition. And let's just take a look right now in the studio to see uh, what this looks like real time. And so in this example here, I have this fake plant in front of this gray background, and the camera is gonna do a pretty good job of neutralizing the color balance here, thanks to that big gray background. But as soon as I zoom in on the base of this plant and the apple box that it's on, which are a lot of really warm colors, the camera is going to want to add a lot of blue to try to neutralize those warm colors. And now the photo suddenly appears very, very cool. And now when I zoom in on the leaves of this fake plant, which are green, the camera is gonna to want to neutralize all of that green by adding a lot of magenta. And so the color balance values are drastically different for all three of these photos even though the light source has not changed. Using auto white balance lock, once I lock in that value, I can recompose all I want without those color balance values changing at all. And that is what gives me consistent colors throughout a series of photos created in the same light. And so if you're only recording the JPEG file, this becomes much more difficult to fix in post-processing. And if you can't fix it, then you're going to have noticeable shifts in a consecutive series of photos. So we're going to use auto white balance lock to fix this. And if you have an older camera that was released prior to uh, fall of 2018, I hope this at least has you thinking about not using auto white balance as much, using those manual white balance controls if you're recording the JPEG files. And I do have an entire chapter devoted to this in my Fujifilm camera fundamentals course. And so if you have one of these cameras that has auto white balance lock and you wanna use it, the first thing that you're going to have to recognize is that this function has to be dedicated to a custom function button. It can't be a touch screen. You have to have an actual button dedicated to this feature on your camera. And I'll get into how to set that up in just a minute. But if you have a camera like the XE4 or the XS10 that has limited buttons available, you're gonna to have to really consider how you want your controls mapped. You may have to reassign some things to the touch screen to free up one of those buttons to use auto white balance lock. Cameras like the X-T4 that have a gazillion buttons available, uh, that shouldn't be a problem for you to be able to find a home for this function. And so once we've identified which custom button we want to assign to this function, the first thing we need to do is to program our camera like that. So with the camera on and in shooting mode, press and hold the display back button. This will take you to the function setting menu where you'll see a map of all of your controls and just scroll down to that function button that you want to use with this function. Press the joystick to the right and find AWB lock only or AWBL is on the icon. Highlight that 
Press OK, and now that button is set up to use Auto White Balance Lock. But there's another thing that we have to set up in the button dial settings. So press Menu, go to your button dial settings, and then scroll to AWB Lock Mode. Here you're going to set up if you want to lock the white balance only while you're holding, while you're pushing down that button, or if you want that button to operate as an on-off switch. So you press the button once to lock the auto white balance, and then you press it again to turn it off. I personally prefer the switch method, so I'm not having to constantly hold down that button the entire time that I want the white balance to be locked. But you may have different needs, so just set that up as you wish, experiment with it, and see which setting you like the most. And then to actually use auto white balance lock, let's head over here for the fake plant demo. So all you need to do to use auto white balance lock is to set your white balance to auto. And if your camera has either auto white priority or auto ambience priority, you can use one of those as well. But have the camera in one of those modes, point the camera at your subject, and when the colors look right, just push that button to lock that white balance. And now no matter what you do to change your composition, the white balance is not going to change. Better yet, if you have a solid color neutral object, like a white or a gray wall or a gray shirt or something like that, try to fill the frame with that object. And the camera does a really good job of neutralizing the color balance when presented with a color neutral object like this. So going to fill the frame with this gray background paper, wait for the auto white balance to level out, and then push that button to lock in the white balance. And now I can recompose without worrying about that auto white balance changing. Better yet still, if you have a custom white balance card, like this is the Weebow white balance card, you can put that in front of the camera's lens, wait for that auto white balance to correct, and then push that button to lock that value in. Now, just to note here, if you are using this method, using a color neutral object, you'll want to make sure that the light falling on this color neutral object is the same light that is falling on your subject, or else that auto white balance is going to be off when you finally take it over to your subject. And anytime your light source changes, like clouds suddenly move over the sun, or you go from outdoors to indoors, or in this example here, I'm going to turn on the house lights, which are fluorescent, and turn off the modeling light from my strobe, now there is going to be a different temperature and tint necessary to neutralize the color balance. So when that happens, just unlock the auto white balance lock, let for that to settle out, and then push that button again to lock the auto white balance. Now, auto white balance lock is really good for the run and gun type photographers. If you're constantly shooting in the same light source, like under fluorescent lights for a high school basketball game or artificial light in a studio, then you can save those color balance corrections to a custom white balance within the camera. And then whenever you go into that light source, you can just recall custom one, custom two, or custom three to get that correction for that light source. But when you're constantly on the move and you don't have the time to save a new custom white balance into your camera every time the light source changes, auto white balance is really, really good uh, for getting these consistent colors. Just lock in the white balance when it looks right or if you have a color neutral object and now go fire away taking a whole bunch of pictures and your colors aren't going to change. So if you have a camera that has this feature, this auto white balance lock, but you've never used it before, go out, try it out, and see what it can do for you. It may make a huge difference in the quality of your photography. Please leave any questions or comments below, and I'll see you on the next video.